Greetings, video nerds. Jack Nerd 1.0 here. This is the D&D Essentials Kit. This is a box set. So really, this is only roughly a year, year and a half old. And the reason why I am bringing you this video today and this uh, soon to be unboxing is because this is currently available on Amazon for the amazingly low price of what I bought it for was $7.74. Says, but this has everything you're going to need for uh, starting out a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Previously, I have reviewed the D and D. I think they just called it the starter set. I'll link that either it'll be either up here or over there or somewhere somewhere up there. But this is a new one that came along. I actually bought this for son number dos, and uh, so hopefully he's not watching this. I uh, got this for Christmas. But it was so low in price, I bought two, one to review and one for him. Let's dig in and see what's in here. And I will put the uh, Amazon link down at the bottom in the description here. And uh, if you buy that, that will help out the channel as well. Um, but for the price that this is, I think this is liable to be a very good deal. Now here's the dice that you get. It looks like we've got pretty much everything we need. Uh, they're giving you two, two 20 siders, six siders. You get your percentage dice. So that's pretty much everything you need right there. But that's a good, good basic set of dice. A little box, presumably for some cards. We'll see what that's about. Here is, looks like an adventure. And this is actually a pretty thick book for a box set. Looks like this is the first adventure you're going to do here. This looks pretty darn long, actually. And wonderful maps, as they usually do. Okay, so here are your cards. Looks like uh, these are quest cards. These look like things that'll get you into the game, maybe. Um, let's see here. What What is this one? Dragon Barrow Quest. The dragon that besets us is not only the first to threaten this region. Between here and Neverwinter lies Barrow Mound, uh, the Barrow Mound of a warrior whose magical dragon slaying sword helped fell a green dragon terrorizing the high road a century ago. Rumor has it the dragon slayer's sword is buried there too. Retrieve it and the sword be its own reward. That would certainly, if I were a player, that would certainly get me involved. So that is pretty interesting. Uh, next up is these are mage guide them cards. These are always <clears throat> these are always fun. It gives um, gives a player something physical uh, to hold on to. And just it's the various uh, magic items that are going to be available in that adventure. Uh, you could certainly use these again. Um, there's there is some, yeah, there's potions of healing and stuff. Those are always going to be, uh, you always be able to reuse those uh, for other adventures. There's quite a few of these, actually. So those are the magic item cards. Uh, again, these are something physical you can give. When, when the player gets the item, you can give it to them. If they sell it or change it or give it to another player, you can do that. Um, you know, whether you really need it or you could, I mean, you could certainly just write this stuff down. But it is kind of something just nice to have. Um, these are also kind of nice to have. These are condition cards. You've got a few on here as well. Uh, it just tells you the various condition that you may have fallen under, such as incapacitated or deafened, charmed, what have you. The only criticism I give for these is that I would think you'd need a couple, at least, copies of these. Uh, certainly like in incapacitated. Um, you know, for your party, especially if you've got, if this party has a rather hard battle, you may need a couple of these, and definitely for unconscious, but you, cer you certainly could photocopy these and give them out. I would suggest any DM do that and have a couple extra hanging around. All right, these, uh, this is initiatives. Again, not necessary, but helpful, especially to new players. That gives them the number sequence for who is going to attack next. Um, so yeah, this is also helpful again, not necessarily, but kind of nice. 
All right, so these, this is, and, and this will go into the essentials kit when we get to it, to the rule book. This is, uh, this is a new system that they're doing. These are called sidekicks. And, and I believe this is from this kit. I, I don't believe the rules exist anywhere else. These are sort of like retainers that you can pick up along the way in an adventure that will kind of assist you. The rules for them are in the back here in the appendix of the rule book right there. We will go, we'll, I'll probably make another video. We'll go into that in depth because it is kind of a new system, I believe, for uh, 5e. But this is the, this is the actual rule book that you get here. Um, again, it's quite good and it's, it's quite large. Um, very nice binding, as I said, like with the other one. This has pretty much all the information you're going to want. However, I will tell you, the races and classes are just going to be the basic ones that are available, like in the downloadable rules. You're not going to get the uh, uh, the more specialty races, tieflings. You're not going to get them in here. So there's humans, halflings, dwarves, elves, your basic fantasy stuff. Uh, that's what's going to be available here. But, you know, that's probably all you really need to get started. Um, <clears throat> same goes for classes. It's just going to be the basic stuff. Um, although they did give bards. I guess that is considered a basic class. So, you have bards, clerics, uh, fighter, rogue, wizard. I believe that's it. And then you'll get into other parts of making characters, backgrounds. Now, it, 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 same goes for the backgrounds. You're only going to get the basic backgrounds instead of... So the, the player's handbook has others uh, that you'll be able to get. Uh, and then this is just playing the game. How the game is actually played, the skill system, how to hit, uh, such like that. Uh, rules for traveling, resting, all that kind of stuff. So... And uh, again, and then you've got your equipment. Again, basic equipment that you're going to need. I, I, you know, I haven't checked to make sure, but I'm sure that again, the player's handbook probably has more. And then you get into spells. And finally, then you get the. Uh, I think you'll get those appendix rules. Uh, your monsters are all uh, the monsters that you have available. Those are all in the back of the adventure module. And there's a fair amount of them. I did go through and look at them. There's a fair amount of ones that are available here and it should be anything you need. A good DM could use this set and make further adventures for himself or for his group um, just based on the information that you have here. Uh, then you're also gonna get some character sheets. These are also very helpful. And I did notice, I don't know if I mentioned before, there were no pre-made characters in this adventure, which I like, I kind of think is good. If as a dungeon master, you don't want to go through that with players, although I think that's an excellent way for players to learn the rules is for them to make their own characters. Um, but if you don't want to do that, there's a myriad of them available online to download. Uh, this is a map of the Sword Coast. This is also really great. And then you've got a uh, little township here that you're going to go into, Vandalin. I believe this is the same township in the same area that is included in the um, in the starter kit, the other box set that I reviewed. So I think these two could probably play very well together. Um, and incidentally, that one, I will also put a link to that one down below. That one, I believe, is available right now for about $10.00. So for 18 bucks, you could get both basic sets. You have two sets of dice, two rule books, two completely different adventures. Uh, this one here, this, uh, this is a map of the Sword Coast. Uh, again, a good DM could use this and make his own mini adventures probably for quite some time. The rule, books, the rule book here, if you look, takes you up to about sixth level. Hey, this is a really good rule book. I mean, you could get along with this for quite some time and not have any problems. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so what else? You've got a rudimentary DM screen here, Game Master screen. Uh, great, 
This has got a lot of information on it. Again, more conditions here for you. Everything you're gonna need there, so that's great. And very good artwork. Very nice. Um, so here's the thing, for, I, I think the original price for this was probably around $20, um, maybe 15 to $20. For that, I think even at that, it's a good buy. But for say essentially eight dollars, this is a this is a complete, uh, complete no brainer, a complete win, I would say. So um, if you have anyone who is even thinking of getting into D and I think get this. In fact, get a couple. So you've got a couple of these, of these rule books hanging around. But for again, for eight dollars, this is. This is definitely a no-brainer. This is, I would definitely go out and get these, get a couple of them, in fact. So anyways, before this goes on too long, which it already has, again, like, share, and uh, subscribe uh, uh, the video, please. And I will put links to my other D&D video. Watch those. And by the way, I am also starting a Patreon. And uh, I will leave the address for that down, down there as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions for future reviews, please drop a comment below. There is a link below to my Patreon where we will be dropping exclusive prepping and survival videos, as well as free role-playing game adventures, comments on geek culture, film, TV, and more. So toss a coin, and thanks again.